Let's get to this pyramid. Of course, Peyton. Peyton, you have yet to admit that you were fooling around. First, you chipped her over the leg of the chair. Then it wasn't the leg of the chair. Then it was Kendall's leg. But I'm hearing that you were making fun of the ballet routine on stage, and you were doing ballet steps fooling around, and that's how you fell. Who are you hearing these stories from? Every single person that was backstage. She turned around and tripped over a prop. Don't try to make lies about my daughter. Peyton put this entire team and your victory in jeopardy. If you don't want her on the team and you want to kick her off, just kick her off. Goodbye. You're Goodbye. Off. Go. Let's go, Peyton. Go. Remember that when you go to ask her back again. You can't keep messing with somebody's head over and over. You're the liar, not my daughter. Every single one of you have learned in this studio what is acceptable behavior backstage. Is it acceptable to be dancing, to be fooling around in the wings when another group is on stage? No. If you learned one thing this past weekend, everyone's replaceable. Even if Peyton is off the team, I don't think any of the kids are safe. I think, you know, Abby wants to get rid of a couple of the original girls. Next. Kendall. Jill. I, I was this backstage. Kid is out I don't of have control. No, she's not. Yes, she no, is. she's not. Nip it in the butt. No, she's not. You made Peyton's little scene in the bathroom look like nothing. Open your mouth in your house and say, I made a commitment. I have to be at the competition. I have a card for you. Well, put it over there. We weren't supposed to be that late to the competition, but I really hope Abby doesn't dismiss Kendall as her number two girl because I know she can do it. Next, we have Nia. Nia, did you get yelled at last week? I think you blended in. That's a compliment. Thank you. It's unbelievable. Like, what more can this girl do? She did everything Abby asked her to do, and yet that's still not good enough to move up on the pyramid. Brooke, you forgot choreography. The timing was off. You have more experience on stage than any other person in this group. Brooke is almost 16 years old. She has lost her drive, not just for dance, for everything. And I blame Kelly. And next, we have Chloe. Christy, did you or Chloe ever go to anybody connected with the Believe competition and ask that your order be changed? No. How were you in the program dancing first in the division and ended up dancing last? Because I went backstage and asked what the order was. So why did you want to go last? So I could watch my competition and see what I needed to do to win. You watched her from the wings below the first turn. And then you played it safe. And next, Paige. I thought your facial expressions were over the top and you outdanced Brooke and Chloe. Thank you. And then we have Mackenzie. Mackenzie was clean, it was cute. I didn't go home talking about it. I really don't want Miss Abby to replace me with another girl my age. I'm good enough to be on this team. All right, and at the top of the pyramid, Maddie, great job in the group routine. Thank you. It was a good number. It looked beautiful. You won.